the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 216, Jeremiah 42-45 Grace for Baruch The people of South Judah who should have accepted the punishment tried to flee to Egypt, and this was another act of disobedience to God. First point, those who were left behind in South Judah requested to Jeremiah to pray for their route to Egypt. The people of South Judah who decided to go the opposite route to God's will Egypt rather than Babylon asked Jeremiah to pray for them. This was similar to when Zedekiah asked Jeremiah to pray for them although he had no intention in his heart to surrender. This was the prayer that the people requested Jeremiah to pray. Then all the army officers, including Johanan son of Kariya and Jejaniah son of Hoshea, and all the people from the least to the greatest, approached Jeremiah the prophet and said to him, Please hear our petition and pray to the Lord your God for this entire remnant. For as you now see, though we were once many, now only a few are left. Pray that the Lord your God will tell us where we should go and what we should do. Indeed, they did not pray with obedience in their hearts. They had already decided that they wanted to go to Egypt. They therefore asked Jeremiah to pray for them so that they would appear to be obeying God. They wanted to appear as though they were asking for God's permission. Second point, in response to Jeremiah's prayer and the people's request, God told them that if they went to Egypt, there would be plagues. When the people asked Jeremiah to pray to God about going to Egypt, Jeremiah prayed for them. God gave them his reply. God told them not to go to Egypt, but rather to stay in South Judah, although it had become a desolate place. God told them that if they obeyed, they would become good facts in a kingdom of priests, like the people who were taken to Babylon when they returned after 70 years. To be honest, the remaining people in South Judah, or people of Babylon, did not care to take with them during captivity. God promised them that he would change the heart of the Babylonian king whom they feared. Despite this, they still decided to go to Egypt. God therefore warned them that they would experience suffering if they went to Egypt. To the people who were taken to Babylon, God hoped that they would become his remnant. But as for the people who remained, they disobeyed until the end. Jeremiah was distressed because of them. Third point, eventually Johanan took even Jeremiah and Baruch to Egypt for exile. The people of South Judah decided to go to Egypt, but when Jeremiah told them that God said no, they started to pour out their complaint to Jeremiah. They claimed that Jeremiah's message from God was a lie. They started to complain and became very arrogant. They even went as far as to say that Baruch convinced Jeremiah to sell the people of South Judah as captives to Babylon. They did not care about God's command, but cared more for what they wanted. They eventually went to Egypt as they pleased. At this, God gave them another opportunity to repent. God told them that Egypt was soon to become captives of Babylon as well. Thus, even if they went to Egypt, they would not be able to escape from Babylon. Fourth point, God told the people who went to Egypt about the bad fix through Jeremiah. 
Despite the people disobeying God by going to Egypt, God still spoke to them. God reminded them of the reason South Judah fell. God told them that the reason for their decline was idol worship and their disobedience. God also went on to explain that Egypt was also idol worshippers and disobedient people. God therefore declared judgment on the people of South Judah who chose to go to Egypt. But when the people heard Jeremiah's message, they complained and did not believe. They were making a foolish decision. They refused to repent or change their minds, but rather interpreted that South Judah fell because they did not offer incense to the Queen of Heaven. When Josiah got rid of the Queen of Heaven idol during the religious reformation, these people clearly got the wrong message. During Josiah's time, the people worshipped the Queen of Heaven. As such, the reason South Judah fell was because of their idol worship. The people who decided to go to Egypt had firmly decided to worship idols. This was indeed a stupid decision. God therefore gave his final judgment on them. To the people who worshipped the Queen of Heaven, God told them to do as they pleased. Also, to the people who went to Egypt, God told them that not one of them believed in God. They clearly did not know that this was a terrible curse. God's word became fulfilled in 570 BC when the king of Egypt was killed. And Egypt fell in the hands of Babylon's Nebuchadnezzar in 567 BC. Fifth point, to Baruch, who stayed with Jeremiah until the end, God promised him salvation. Jeremiah and Baruch had to lead extremely difficult lives whilst delivering God's message. Baruch chose to work with Jeremiah despite knowing full well that it was a difficult road. For this, God consoled Baruch. God promised Baruch that he would deliver him from plagues. Despite such dark times, Jeremiah and Baruch became a consoling factor to God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 